Hello YouTube and welcome to channel Annabella and today I'm going to be doing another Warhammer Conquest review. Now as you can see I have finally finished painting my second armed container. Here it is, I've gone with green as you can see green, yellow and gold and I opted with the closed door option this time. I have painted the barrels and the caskets the same colour only this time with the barrels I decided not to do the white because I think that they look better like that so we've got a blue one on top of the blue we've got a green one on top of the black one and there's going to be the next one is supposed to be red but I've not decided what colour scheme to go for with that I've got the first playmat out because the first playmat is technically complete, though we do need another armor contact, armored um, container here. But don't worry about that. That's coming very soon. But I have an excellent announcement. I've laid everything out on this table that I've got. I finally got issue 11, everyone. Hooray! Thank you, Forbidden Planet London. So I'm going to crack open the issue and then I'm going to show you three other issues that I've got that concern the armoured containers. Then I'm going to run through all down, do a run through of all the figures that I've got so far. I've finished painting my first vehicle at the back and there are the three figures that come with issue 11. Now, let's put up a chair so we can sit. Okay, so here we are, Warmer Conquest issue 11 and you've got the Primus Aggressors and they are literally built like armoured tanks basically. Yes, I've dry brushed their backpacks grey, like everybody else. So you open it up, you get all the usual features. So you get Space Marines, Aggressors and Explains, because they're a very new um, battle military type. So they're a new type of um, warrior that the Space Marines have which explains why um, the issue was so rare to actually get. Warzone Ultramarina, a Brotherhood Reunited. Let's have a look. How to build. They were awkward to build, I did have to say, but once you got all the chess pieces out and connected, the legs and everything followed, it was more sort of like stick them together. They did have one foot um, thing in their base. They do come with cute little rubble at the back and each one is different with their cute little rubble. I'll show you them in more detail in a minute. So this is how you build them and then how to paint them. So far I've just um, done the dry brushing of their backpacks. I'll turn them around so you can see the difference because that's the easiest thing to do. Fire and Fury is the um, next mission that you've got. Okay, so and then there's issue 12 and then there's 13, Battlefield Terrain. Okay, now I have got out all of the issues that are to do with Battlefield Terrain so far. The first... Um, issue was issue 13 where we got this one and just to show you what you got with that yeah blah 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 you got how to build it and that was it in that one next time I am thinking of painting my next lot of um, containers red and white just to have some different on the board and I'm also thinking of possibly doing the barrels um, green and well hello again yes so we're thinking of um, green and gold barrels and red and white um, little trunks slash container mini containers anyway so that is what you get on containers in issue 13 issue 14 is where they do the dry brushing but it's also how to paint, and this one is a black one, which I decided not to go with because I had a blue one. Look, there's my green one. Yeah, I like the red on the top, actually. It does make it stand out, which is 
kind of a bit silly really because it could get shot from long distance but hey hey and um, whereas the blue um guns blend in but meh that's life so there's that one and then it's how to paint the armored crates and that's that in issue 14 then you get issue 17 which was last week's issue and you've got how to construct <clears throat> your armored container again oh sweet issue 17 i don't think i've reviewed that with you okay so this is issue 17 got last week along with my second container over there excuse me um so you get the chaos gods chaos gods nurgle defenders of ultra of ultramar and then defender invaders of ultramar so that's kind of cool And you get how to build an armoured container, yawn. And we've got how to paint an armoured container. And this time it's the blue one. Though my blue one doesn't look like this at all. It looks far more battled and far more battered and battle worn. And how to paint your ammunition crates, finished models. And then fire zone secured. And placing objectives. And then issue 18, which is on the floor down there, you get two new paints and a play map. And then issue 19, you get your first Death Guard Lord and um, Lord Felthus and the Tainted Cohort. So you get four models, basically. So that's issue 17. Okay, this is issue 11, which we've looked at. But I am going to now show you the models. There we go. Okay, so just put that there. These are the three Primus Aggressors that you get with issue 11. Finally, I've got mine. They were awkward to build and mum said that, they, that the glue was smelly. Yes, it was. I should have opened a window, but ma. So, my heart of that. So there they are. They're quite cool because each one's got a different um, rubble. So that's like bits of metal and stuff that's on the floor and somebody's helmet that's been crunched and trampled. This one's got somebody who's carelessly left a weapon on the floor. And this one is a um, sacred icon in there. So they're going to be quite cool to paint the actual bases of them as well as the model themselves. They come with two guns that also um, shoot like fire. As you can see, um, they are a bit battered because of the glue. So I am going to have to go over and give them some blue coating at some point. Oh, there you go. They've been dry brushed on the back. So that is issue 11. Finally, as you can see, I've got me issue 16 models here. Flying ones are always awkward. Always awkward. Um, I had some Bretonian flying unicorn and um, Pegasus um, ones once. They still have not got been put back on their um, things because they just break off all the time. It's so annoying. So this is what you should have um, so far. You should have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve poxwalkers. That's what you should have. You should have twelve poxwalkers. You should have two um, big character figures. I've painted them a slightly different green so far, just because I felt that they were big characters and they needed to stand out a little bit. And then you should have six um, play guards. Or Death Plague Marines. There. Got two containers with um, armoured carriers and, you know, petrol tanks needs. For these, you should have three Ultramarines. Then you should have one Lucius. Except I've got two because he's got two different heads and he's exclusive to this collection. Three Reavers. Remember, I got two copies of issue one. 
a librarian and then this collection of fellows up here and then your aggressors here your flying one and then two regular two more regular ultramarines i think and then you've got those with the special blasters okay, i'm going to put my aggressors just down there and i'm going to show you this because it's finally finished it took me ages and i did have to recoat it and redo it but that was my own silly fault so here it is i've finally finished painting the thing it took me ages and i'm still not 100 percent happy with it but i'm gonna leave it now because the more you do the more frustrating it got so i think it looks fairly battle worn i'm liking the fact that as you can see like all the oil has run down there so it's like this weird sort of hybrid between the organic and the mechanical. And it does have that, the gold does shine now. Whereas before, I put so much like um, stain on it that the gold wasn't shining. And it just looked so drab. So this is what I'm really pleased with. so so happy with that so that's completely finished so i'm going to move to the floor over here because this is where we've put issue 18 now issue 18 doesn't come with much but what it does come with is rather interesting we get two new paints so we get this cute little red and we also get a rakar flesh so that is awesome for fine detail work i'm just putting them up on the table out of the way so you get those two paints to add to your collection here is the play mat that you get as you can see it's massive in comparison to the one that's on the table up there so yeah so your gaming is going to change so this is issue 18 and it comes with space marine silver templars so they're going to explain to you a chat how the Silver Templar chapter is organised, because in the Ultramarines they have different chapters. Space Marines, Armoury, Bolt Weapons, so that's all about weapons. Hell Blasters, which is what, you've got two of those with issue 17 and they're over there. The Relief of Lysus, that's um, Space Marines. Battles 9, so that's a battle report. How to paint fine details. So this is what you should have so far. So there's your ultramarines lot, and there's your death guard. I've not really painted mine blue, to be absolutely honest. I have to say that my one of those does look a hell of a lot better. Okay, so the librarian gets this lovely red cloak, and it's just basically putting on some of the red for the reavers, intercessors, hellblasters, and interceptors. And then your aggressors at the top. Your death guard get a uh, mechanic standard grey. Put on them a little bit. And then they also get... You must fight today or prepare to fight tomorrow. That is very true. Um, you've got flesh that goes on. So instead... of white for the blessings they are actually this flesh color which should be interesting i think yeah this my little foot wiggle wiggle um so there's the interceptor aggressors death guard plague marines so they're gonna look quite cool i think with some of the red and other details added and then your Pox walkers ready for action on the battlefield. Move out of the way, foot. Seize is the mission there. And then we have Death Guard Data Sheet 3, the Lymphic Blight Hauler, which is what I painted there. Woohoo! There's a butt. And then we also get this for our vision, they condemned us. For the sin of seeing clearly what our father, their precious emperor, had become, they called us traitor and cast us out. But now, my sons, now there shall be a reckoning. So that's got to go in my folder with all the rest. And then, from issue 21, bearing in mind that this is 
issue 18. So from issue 21, the battle goes planet side. New battle map, new terrain, new missions. And it's the city fight map. So as you can see, we're going to get some awesome terrain to go with it. And it's an industrial world of great value to Ultramar and the Imperium. Ooh. So, massive city fight map. So, that explains that. And it's actually got two sides to it. So, this is the first side. And then we can flip it over. That's the second side. Me, I'm a big fan of this side. I like the fact this one. Because that's the one that's here, but they put the terrain on it. Obviously, we've not got the terrain yet to go with it. And then if we turn over, issue 19, we get a Lord Thelthus and the Tainted Cohort. And then the last armoured container to go with the battle map that's up there. Which I'm just going to show you. See, there's a space one more container and also some more um carriers and little tanks or little tank little tank containers basically um so yeah that should be cool so if you've enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe because i'm gonna do the next one so that's gonna be awesome